welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing two unboxings of the bandeau and my new handbag. This is me entering the store. You can already see there's a line kind of forming. And I'm just looking around to see if there's anything else that I may like. And there is more to come. So I'm going to start off with the holiday packaging for 2021 that Louis Vuitton has. So as you see, it is with the red handle. Um, and the face is actually the face of Louis Vuitton himself. So this is the holiday edition. And on the back, it's the gold. I guess this is called embossed text. So it is something that you can feel as you like rub against it. And as you see, the ribbon for the box is also red. So not like the blue what they typically have or what they usually have. So holiday edition, it is red. So we're gonna start with the unboxing of my handbag. It is the Passy bag. And this is gonna be a true unboxing. I haven't seen this purse since I was in store. I'm so excited to see it again. And as you see, the packaging is beautiful. I love it. I love the red holiday edition. This bag was released um, earlier this year in 2021. So let's start. And I haven't seen this bag since I was in the store, so I'm so excited to see it. And I love the way they and everything. So, what's in here? Probably, I guess, my receipt and everything. Thank you for shopping with Louis Vuitton. Just kind of like a little thank you card. Love you. Um, and just some policy information and some care information about the bag. I did actually order this bag offline, um, but I picked it up in store. Of course, the dust bag and my beautiful bag that I haven't seen in a few days. And I'll let you guys take a look. And I love the large LV logo right here. This is actually a magnetic closure. And these are the compartments. There are three compartments. One has a zipper, as you can see, and there's a larger one. Then there's a smaller one in the front. And I don't know if this color is like a burgundy or maroon, um, but it is the microfiber lining that's in a lot of the, in a lot of the um, Louis Vuitton handbags. So this is the Passy bag again. Um, just wanna give you guys a little bit more detail. So you can be able to see the canvas, the width of the bag. Um, this is a chain bag, of course. You can wear it cross body. You can also um, wear it as a shoulder bag. To me, this bag reminds me of the Pochette Matisse, which was a super popular bag. It still is pretty popular now. To me, this is a, like a trendier version of it. Um, the Pochette Matisse is okay, but this is more of my style. And it also has this pocket on the back, so you can have easy access for a cell phone or whatever you'd like to put in the bag. So there was a slight price increase. Um, as I mentioned, this bag did come out earlier this year. So initially it was $2,430 and now it is $2,570. So as with all of the bags from Louis Vuitton, there has been a price increase and it'll probably be another price increase next year. So if you are thinking about getting something from Louis Vuitton, I suggest you get it now before the next price increase. So I'm just gonna go over a few details about the bag. Of course, um, it is a chain bag. Initially this bag was called the new chain bag or chain bag. But shortly after the release earlier this year, the name was changed to the Passy Bag. So as you can kind of see, this can be worn as a crossbody bag or a shoulder bag. It does have the magnetic closure. Um, 
and I'll even show you here. And you can kind of hear it too. This uh, magnet is actually pretty strong, so you're definitely not gonna have any problems closing it. So um, some people were saying that this chain was a little bit short, but to me, it's perfect. I am 5'4", and I'll give like a little video showing how the bag hits me to show you what it looks like crossbody and as a shoulder bag. Also, to me, this bag is still classy. As I mentioned, it's almost like the pochette motif. So it's classy, but a trendy kind of classy. Um, you can wear it with casual outfits, and it depends on where you're going. You can also dress it up a little bit as well. And I love the black and monogram and gold. I love the color combination. That's what really stood out to me as I was looking at it online. Also, um, you guys have probably noticed this as well. So on the Louis Vuitton website, it's always gonna say, or a lot of the times it's saying out of stock, out of stock. And for me personally, I almost checked every other day to see when this bag was available. I think it started maybe like five months ago that I started checking for it. Then one day I randomly checked and it was available and I immediately added it to the cart. I think it's just marketing for Louis Vuitton, a false supply and demand situation, but it works because I bought the bag as soon as it became available online. And I actually saved $84 because I ordered it offline, but I chose the pick up in store option. Um, so depending on where you live, you might wanna check out the taxes to see which option may be more beneficial for you, um, either ordering it offline or picking it up in store. I did hear that like if you live in New York City, it's actually cheaper to have it or, or to order it and have it delivered to your house um, versus going in store due to those taxes in uh, New York City. But for me where I live, it was less expensive to just go in store and pick it up. So even though this purse looks a little small to me, I guess it's medium size, um, it can actually fit a lot. And I'm just gonna show you guys the interior again. And I will also be doing a what fits in my bag video. So guys, let me know in the comments if you're interested in seeing that. Make sure you like and subscribe, of course. And this back pocket right here, love that. So easy, so accessible. And another thing that I wanna talk about um, is the customer service in the Louis Vuitton boutique. So I've heard some negative reviews, unfortunately, um, not just in my city, but all over. So fortunately for me, I had a great experience. Um, since I did order it offline, I didn't have to wait in the line that is outside the door. You just tell them that you ordered online and you're here for a pickup. And I was able to go inside immediately and um, go over the specs of the bag, make sure that it was to my liking, and everything was great. I did walk around the store. It was actually not too many bags out, I guess because of that fake supply and demand thing I was kind of mentioning, but um, I did walk around the store. I actually did get another item as well. Okay guys, so now I'm gonna be unboxing my bando. This is the Monogram Forever BB Bando. And again, I just love holiday edition. This is 100% silk. So for me, I'm gonna mostly wear this as kind of like a scarf, or um, I mean a headband, because I do like to wear headbands when I my hair, depending on how I do with my hair. Um, but you can also wrap this around like the handle of certain handbags. So I may use it as, for that purpose as well, but I mostly got this monogram for a headband purpose. As you see, It'll be monogram on this side. And the reverse is, I'll show you the place. And the reverse is this. I do love pink, but I'm probably mostly gonna wear it on the monogram side. Um, there was a price increase for their scarves and bandos as well. This was $200. I know this is a lot for a scarf or an accessory for a purse, but that's how much it was.
And I also wanted to show you guys how it does have the Louis Vuitton at the bottom. It does have it on this side as well as this one. So I picked this um, item up recently as well. I will insert like a little video or maybe a picture so I can show you guys how I plan on wearing this. Make sure that you like and subscribe. Comment below. Is $200 too much for a headband? Is it reasonable for a little bit of time? Have you ever bought a bandeau? What do you think about bandeaus? And do you use them to wrap up your purse? Because I'm thinking about doing that as well for another handbag, is wrapping the handle. Maybe not with this exact one, but I do like the look of it sometimes. It definitely gives a, a purse like a completely different look. Thank you guys again for watching my video. Please make sure you like, comment, and subscribe so you can take a look at more videos that I post. I'm also gonna be talking about real estate, finance, and different things that you can do to be financially comfortable so you can be able to afford these luxury items that we all love. So thank you again. Stay tuned for my next video.